The Art of Seduction is a nonfiction book by Robert Greene, which describes nine different types of seducers. The goal is to find out what kind of seducer are you? Some of us are several different types of seducers and others just have one strong seduction quality. And that is the important thing to note here. It isn't the quantity, but the quality of seductions that makes someone truly irresistible. This video is done in partnership with Adam and Eve, an adult online store where you guys can go and get all of your sexual fantasies met from the comfort and privacy of your computer. Every single outfit that I am wearing this video is from adamandeve.com. Now, if you do choose to go to the site and you do see something that you want to pick up and buy, use my promo code, which gets you 50% off any one single item plus free shipping. The first type of seducer is the siren. They are the visual appetite. Some famous seducers today would be Kim Kardashian, Marilyn Monroe, and Cleopatra. How do you know if you're a siren? Do you crave the attention? Do you not mind when people who could never have you secretly lust after your every single movement? If so, you might be a siren. Next, we have the rake. The rake isn't trying to hide the fact that they get what they want, when they want it, and however many they want at their given time. Rakes are Casanovas, and well, to be honest, they're players. But the thing about it is, they don't try to hide that. You know the reputation, you know what they're after, and you know what they're about. But that doesn't stop them from being highly seductive. Some famous rakes, Ryan Gosling, George Clooney, and our girl Rihanna. The next type of seducer is the ideal lover. All of us have dreams, goals, visions of who we are, but more importantly, who we are supposed to be. An ideal lover sees that in you. They see your greatness and they bring it to the forefront. An ideal lover shows you a world where you are exactly who you want to be with the exact person that you want to be with. Now, some famous ideal lovers out there have been Leonardo DiCaprio, specifically in Titanic, where he played Jack, who showed Rose her true identity, and more importantly, who her true love is supposed to be. And when he's not being a rake, Drake is also an ideal lover. Next, let's meet the dandy. I've talked about this many times before, how the Kinsey scale goes from zero to six. The truth of the matter is that very few of us are a true zero, which is absolutely heterosexual, and a true six, which is 100% homosexual. Most of us are somewhere in between. A dandy brings that truth to light. They play in androgyny. Sometimes they're feminine, sometimes they're masculine. You can't really put a thumb or a finger on their sexuality. It is free, wild, and expressive. Now some famous dandies out there, Prince, RIP to that legend. Ruby Rose is another one. And one of my personal friends is Ari Fitz, who deliciously plays in her dandiness. Now the fun thing about dandy is that they bring to life a fantasy that we all desire, which is freedom from gender roles and gender conformity. Now I want you guys to meet the natural. All of us secretly long to go back to our childhood days when we were free from insecurity, free from responsibility, and just free overall. The natural brings that fantasy to life. They remind us of childhood and that carefree time. They play constantly, they have fun wherever they go, and they don't seem too concerned about the responsibilities of adulthood. Some famous naturals that you guys probably know are Channing Tatum. Another famous natural is Chrissy Teigen. If you are a natural, you define by age, you just live, and it's beautiful, it's effortless, and hella seductive. Let's talk about the coquette. The coquette is the tease. They are the person who has so much restraint, it drives you crazy. Now, they might give you a little taste, they might flirt a little bit, but they will never ever let you go all the way until they are completely satisfied and sure that you will go crazy without them. The coquette is very good at the cat and mouse game. They're very good at switching moods to keep you on your toes. You're never quite sure if you are in good graces with the coquette and nothing is a given. They are a little prudish, but at the same time, a little mischievous and always a whole lot of fun. A great example of a coquette would be Sarah Michelle Gellar in Cruel Intentions. Now she was saving herself, but that doesn't mean that she was sparing any of her victims. Are you a coquette? 
Do you always keep your partners guessing? Do they have to earn every single rite of passage of pleasure from you? If so, you will forever be a mystery. You will always be an object of desire because people will never truly have you. Because I'm getting a little tired of changing outfits, we're gonna roll the charismatic and the charmer into one, even though in the book they are separate things. Somebody who has charisma, somebody who is a charmer, makes you feel like the most special person in the entire world. They give you undivided attention, but most importantly, they are the kind of person that everybody craves attention from. They walk into the room and it lights up around them. They make everybody feel good they tell everyone how good that they look they give compliments they give a great feeling some famous charismatic charmers of our time probably every single funny person you know Kevin Hart being a major one Oprah Winfrey also giving you that special feeling where you are an individual with so much power waiting to be unleashed Yet at the same time you are very well aware of her power are you a charismatic charmer are you fun are you funny are you effortless do you naturally walk into the room and every Everybody wants to know who you are and what you do. And do you feel good about yourself? The most important thing and quality of a charismatic charmer is that they have very high self-confidence and self-esteem. They're honest, they're humble, they're forward, and they are insanely seductive. The final seduction quality is the star. There is something about this person that lets you know off the top, they are not an ordinary person. There is a magic, a mystery, an untouchableness about this person that makes them highly seductive. Stars are people that we all just know are not really from this planet. They move differently. They desire attention and are very, very good at getting it. Daily life can be harsh, boring, monotonous, and repetitive. Stars are anything but. They are a break from the norm. They are something that stands out from the crowd, something special, something magnetic, something unforgettable. Are you very unique, kind of mysterious, a little aloof, but highly interesting? Can people not take their eyes off you? That's how you know that you are a seductive star. Now for the million dollar question, what kind of seducer are you? Let me know in the comment section below and while you guys are down there pressing all kinds of buttons, hopefully subscribe and like, that would be pretty nice. Also check out the info box where you can find all the adamandeve.com links to every outfit that I wore, in addition the promo code information and lastly, if you're not quite sure what seduction style you are just by listening, I put a couple quizzes in there too you guys can take to really find the true answer, but then when you do the quiz come back and tell me what kind of seducer are you okay that's it you guys this video was hella exhausting let me tell you some no you let the shop for camp with no bucks you ain't trying to flip them cheeks for no ones no one about to rub the buns for good luck i get it girl oh yeah i get it girl